Quantum Storms, an Evolving Theory Overview The theory is that particle agitation at the tetrahedronic Planck level is sending shockwaves out of the overlap zone of realities, timelines. These shockwaves reverberate through us as we experience reality shifts. These shockwaves are what I am referring to as a quantum storm. In this video, I will explain the quantum storm theory, as well as provide reasons why I believe the theory to be true. Part 1 of Quantum Storms Shockwaves originating in overlap zones between realities. What are overlap zones between realities, where these quantum storms are coming from? Let's use the visual of the double slit experiment as a guideline for the overlap zones. As you see on screen, it starts with one main timeline, let's say, that splits off into many converging and parallel timelines. And the spaces in between these timelines are running in an offset, disjointed fashion. This is where I believe the overlap zones between um, coexisting parallel timelines and or realities exists. Okay, so that's an overlap zone. So what's in the overlap zone that's like causing these quantum storms? So what is a tetrahedron? A tetrahedron is like a small uh, pyramid shaped structure they unstack and restack on top of each other, kind of like quantum Tetris. Almost like a foundation, if it was a building, for other more complex shapes to be built on top of that. And these are shapes that, they don't just exist structurally, but they also have the fourth dimension element to them, which is movement, or time. And because movement is involved, what you're dealing with is layers upon layers of shapes that are folding in on themselves and the more dimensions you go up the more complicated the shapes become. Imagine if you will a clock with the back taken off of it and you can see the gears inside of the clock. You can see all of the gears and mechanics inside of the clock that exist on the third dimension. But if you were to take this clock to the eighth dimension, you would see layers upon layers of new parts and new gears that you could not even interact with or imagine on the third dimension. If you take the clock back to the third dimension, the eighth dimensional mechanics still exist, but you can't see them, you can't interact with them, but they are still a necessary part of the structure going forward, even though on the third dimension, from your perspective, it seems like they don't exist. So then, when it comes to the quantum storms, what you're talking about here is tetrahedrons that are tightly compacted together in these underlying structures of reality, pulling apart because reality is not in sync when you have different timelines beside each other running disjointedly, that these tetrahedrons, these little pyramids, are breaking apart from each other, from the structures that they're in, and coming back into formation again as these different shifting realities are trying to stay solid and are trying to stay in our bandwidth of existence, if you will. So it's basically the tetrahedrons being uh, violently pulled apart and slamming back together that's causing the energy that's causing the quantum storms. And the quantum storms then reverberate through many realities, and it explains why it comes in a ripple effect 
why there are such highs and lows, like such peaks and valleys when it comes to shifting. Let's look at the human aspect of the quantum storm. Many of you are very familiar with the physical side effects of the Mandela effect, and some of these are so bizarre and supernatural that they can't be explained away with something as um, you know mundane and simple as mechanical parts. But I do feel there are many aspects of the physical symptoms of the Mandela effect that do make sense when it comes to energy waves hitting you. And some of these symptoms include tinnitus, which can be different atmospheric pressures on the ears causing problems, as well as the obvious vibrational shifting with the high-pitched ringing, low-pitched ringing. There's fatigue from being constantly bombarded with this and the effect that can have on the body long term. There's insomnia, when there's a high energy wave that's hit you and you just can't sleep surrounding shifts. There's motion sickness, where you're not traveling anywhere at all, but you feel like you're on a really bad roller coaster and you want to get off. <laughs> there's body aches, from not just the skeletal changes and the body changes, but also, I believe, from being hit by quantum storms, by these energy waves. And then there are the more mysterious side effects that include reality sinks, deja vu, and energy, reality information, or whatever we're trying to figure it out as the constant repeating numbers that people see over and over. Part 3. Particle Agitation, Shock Waves, and Earthquakes. One of the other clear signs that we are being hit with extra dimensional shock waves, with a quantum storm, is that every time there's a shift, it seems to be followed in quick succession with an earthquake. For example, there's usually an earthquake in the Philippines, or an earthquake in Indonesia, or sometimes even earthquakes in the United States. I believe that it's a discharge of energy from the overlap zones, especially when timelines are converging together, or there's just particularly a lot of activity happening on the tetrahedron level, or perhaps on levels above the tetrahedron level, still, that energy is created and it ripples out into our reality. And then what we, we see, like I just said there, is often with a shift, it's not just your body giving you signs that you're being hit with a quantum storm, with shockwaves, but the world around you that is giving you signs that you've been hit with a quantum storm. Because not only is there a shift where you see things out of their time and out of their place, um, such as artifacts that have no business being there, new buildings, new countries, new coastlines, any kind of thing can show up in a quantum storm because you're dealing with the unstable barriers between timelines and things that have gotten lost between timelines often will re-emerge as a, an outward ripple effect of a quantum storm. And this dispelling of energy often will result in earthquakes, sometimes even tsunamis, and uh, natural phenomena on, along those lines, wherein the energy can dissipate and calm down until there's another shift, and then you'll see the same thing again. And the more you watch out for the earthquake warnings, the more you will see that they sync up with the reality shifts. Also notable, apart from seismic activity, the Schumann resonance has a tendency to spike when there's a large shift occurring, or has just occurred.
anyways, thank you so much for joining me for this uh, production, this um, showcasing of this emerging theory of quantum storms. And I'm hoping to be able to share with you as we go forward um, even more theories and even more ideas about the larger picture of what's happening here in the Mandela Effect world. Thank you and good night.